Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, my name is Zakia Tumila I am civil engineering student of Silwa University Today, in this video, I would like to present about Portland cement, mixing water, and egg mixtures, and Portland cement production So, let's get started What is Portland cement? Portland cement concrete is the most widely used manufactured construction material in the world. The importance of concrete in our daily lives cannot be overstated. It is used in structure such as buildings, bridges, tunnels, dams, factories, pavement, and playgrounds. Portland cement concrete consists of Portland cement, aggregates, water, air voids, and in many cases, admixtures. This chapter covers the topic of Portland cement, mixing water, and admixtures. And this chapter describes Portland cement concrete. The main use of Portland cement is to make Portland cement concrete, but it can be used for the other purposes such as stabilizing soils and aggregate basis for highway construction. There are many types of concrete based on different cement. However, Portland cement concrete is so prevalent that, unless otherwise identified, the term concrete is always assumed to mean Portland cement concrete. Portland cement was patented by Joseph Austin in 1824, and it's named after the limestone cliffs on the Isle of Portland in England, Kismatka Era, 2011. Portland cement is an instant glue, just add water, that pumps aggregate together to make Portland cement concrete. Material specialists concerned with the selection, specification, and quality control of civil engineering projects should understand the production chemical composition, hydration rate, and physical properties of Portland cement. Next, Portland cement production. Production of Portland cement starts with two basic raw ingredients, a calcareous material and an argillaceous material. The calcareous material is a calcium oxide, such as limestone, chalk, or oyster cells. The argillaceous material is a combination of silica and alumina that can be obtained from clay, shell, and blast furnace like. As shown in figure 6.1, these materials are crushed and stored in silos. The raw materials in the desired proportion are passed through a grinding mill using either wet or dry process. The ground material is stored until it can be sent to the kiln. Modern dry process cement plant use a heat recovery cycle to preheat the ground material or feedstock with exhaust gas from the kiln. In addition, some plants use a place furnace to further heat the feedstock. Both the preheater and place furnace improve the energy efficiency of cement production. In the kiln, the raw materials are melted at temperatures of 1400 to 1650 degrees Celsius or 2500 to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, changing the raw material into cement clinker. The clinker is cooled and stored. The final process involves grinding the clinker into a fine powder. During grinding, a small amount of gypsum is added to regulate the setting time of the cement in the concrete. The finished product may be stored and transported in either bag or sacks. In the United States, a standard sack of cement is 94 pounds, which is approximately equal to 1 cubic foot of blue cement when freshly packed. The 1 cubic foot sack is a convenient size. The sack is not entirely filled with cement so you should not be inferred that the book unit weight of cement is 94 pounds or cubic foot. The cement can be stored for long periods of time, provided it is kept dry. Next, Chemical Composition of Portland Cement 
The raw material used to manufacture Portland cement are lime, silica, alumina, and iron oxide. This raw material interacts in the kiln, forming complex chemical compounds. Calcination in the kiln restructures the molecular composition, producing four main compounds, as shown in Table 6.1. That's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention and sorry if there is a mistake and please if there are any question can comment below. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.